Welcome back to the game with the stuff. I just noticed there's a thing. Yeah. Climb 250 meters without killing any enemies. Can I disable shooting somehow? I I don't see how this is possible. Oh, you can click Q. Right. I think the game actually told me that. Actually, I'm pretty sure it did. You can turn off auto fire just by hitting Q. Ow, pain. This feels weird. Ow! Stop murdering me. I'm not even hurting you. Why can't we be friends? I know I killed several hundred of your species, but I'm not killing you. That's the important thing here, right? Let's make a deal. I don't kill you. You don't kill me. I can't kill you anyway, so there's no real reason for you to join in on this deal, but uh, I still think you should not murder me. I think most people should not murder me, really. It's generally my opinion of the matter. Pacifist! Now murder time! Feels good to murder again. It really does. Ow! Oh, they do take more than one hit now. I'm thinking maybe... Yeah, maybe they do get tougher as time goes on. Like, as you go higher. Ooh, silver. I just noticed there's now a... There's a shooting sound. Which I'm not particularly sure I approve of, considering it's going to be constant. Whatever. If you turn off auto-fire... Ah, uh, you do click to shoot, then. If a boy falls in a cave and no one's in a round, does the splat make any noise? Um, yes. That's kind of how physics work, Rohan. Doesn't really matter if they're observers, the sound still exists. As long as there's a medium for which the uh, waves to travel through, there will be sound. Alright, I should probably... Ah! I hate that not auto fireness. Not auto fireness makes me sad, it makes my gun sad. And it makes the monsters happy, which is never good. Unless they're cute monsters. But even if they're cute monsters, I usually still want to kill them. So, yeah. See? Okay, that one definitely hit my hair, but still. Not sure I approve of my hair being a hitbox. I don't know. Were all the other shots just hitting my hair then? I could have sworn there were some that really did not look like they hit my sprites at all yet. It didn't look like they were going to, period. But did. Somehow hit me. And the critical power-up still seems pretty useless because, at least at this height, it still only takes two hits to kill everything, so... You know, double damage. Well, I guess double damage still helps, but just barely, and like, almost everything's gonna die anyway. I'm sorry, the exit is in another castle. There aren't even any castle. Bleh. There aren't even any castles, you butt face. So, do we just win at the point where we get. Hmm, what do I want? I want more speed. Do I just win at the point where I unlock all of the. Think the thingy boppers, the uh, whatchamacallits, the whatchamafoosits, the things, the stuffs, the skills, yes, skills, that is the word. Everybody knows skills is the word. Ah! Ah, no! No. Alrighty. Let's kill some stuff. Bo Ow. The starting levels are sort of boring at this point. That's why I do like that you go a bit faster when you once you reach the top of the screen, so... You know, I can just plod straight... Ow! Pain! Straight through the boring parts. No! Death! Hey, we've got that maxed. Speed, blah blah blah. Let's get more collect, because... Before too long, it'll become... It'll eventually be kind of useless, so I may as well just get it. I mean, spending my last diamonds on collecting my... or getting the collectability would be very sad, so... I should probably max that early. Let's get some diamonds. You know, get the last of the diamonds so that we can get more diamonds that we will no longer use. 
It's just not as fun. Whoa. Okay, I'm just very wary of those horizontally moving shots, because they seem to have an unnecessarily wide hitbox. Well, unnecessarily big hitbox in general, not just width. So I just get anywhere near them they seem to hit. If they really do have a wider hitbox than the other shots, or than they appear to, they really should just, you know, have that bigger sprite. I've already mentioned this like 800 times though, so... Probably don't need to bring it up again. I also like the parallax in the background. Parallax scrolling. It's excellent. It gives a nice impression of depth. And it makes the background not monotonous and boring. Also, the game definitely does speed up a bit as you keep going up. What height are we? We're not even at 500 meters. Ooh. Pretties. Come to me, my preciouses. My precious. Silver. I guess they're probably supposed to be white, but... Ah. I don't know, maybe they are supposed to be silver. I don't know. They have sort of a shading effect that makes me think silver instead of just white. <laughs> oh, I actually died because of low health for once. Alright, let's max our jump. Alright, I was gonna max collect. Whatever, more bullet speed. Those other stats don't seem to really matter for bullets, because as long as I hit something, it's gonna pretty much die quick. So bullet speed seems like the only one that matters for now. And I suppose more bulletness, more bullet shootiness. Everybody likes bullet shootiness. Except for lame old pacifist butt faces. I mean, how can you not love bullets? They're, you know, explosively propelled bits of metal that kill things. There's no part of that sentence that is not awesome. So, if you don't like them, I think you just need to shut your face. Genocide! Excellent. I should not be so happy for genocide, but I am. Because it's an achievement. See, achievements can make anything better, even genocide. Shut up, phone. Now, genocide is a pretty common achievement, really. I've seen, like, a great deal of games name an achievement of that just for killing tons of enemies. I suppose it's, I suppose it's fitting enough, though. And the whole kill tons of enemies is generally an achievement in any game where you can kill enemies. Ah, no! Yeah, let's get that collect. Alrighty. Oh, and earlier I complained about the f a fade out effect and the uh, audio. I'm not really noticing it anymore. Did it? Maybe the loop is just really long, and or I've gotten used to it, but I haven't noticed it, so it's not as annoying as I quite noticed initially, I guess. I like being able to jump this high. Ow. Though, I must say for the upgrades, I'm um, really questioning the value of the dash and critical upgrades. Because I really don't think they'd be nearly as much help as anything else. Whereas the double jump, fucking awesome. The other two, unless I'm going to come up against way tougher enemies that take way more shots... I just really don't see an advantage of it. And, you know, the dash just seems like it's going to add unnecessary complexity to the controlling. See, because even the double jump I kept forgetting to use because it was an extra control. But the double jump is actually useful. Just moving horizontally a bit faster with considerably more complex control... Not, not that appealing to me, I'm afraid. No! Death. We're still only at... Wow, I need to keep going higher. The exit of the cave was only 20 meters above you. You lied. It's probably better you died. Well, shut your face. I hate you. Resilience. Let's get some more vitality. Feline lifespan. 
get more shooting us. Look at all those bullets. They're being shot from me. It's excellent. They'll actually be by my gun, but still, it is an extension of me in that it is really just actually me since this is a video game, so the gun is functionally the same as a part of my own body. So, if one of your body parts were replaced by a gun, which gun would you pick? And you can't say gravity gun. And you can't say portal gun either, because that those are just the two obvious choices. So what sort of gun would you choose? You can't do anything that would double as an arm, like the gravity gun type thing. So that's just too obvious. And portal guns are just awesome in general, so... You know, you'd be like... That'd be the obligatory answer. I'm not really sure what kind of gun I would prefer to have instead of a limb. Maybe a laser gun. A laser gun with variable um, intensity would be nice. You could be like, oh, I don't want to get a can opener. I'll just open this can with my fucking laser arm. That would be awesome for all sorts of reasons. Hmm, I want to cook this cake, but I don't have an oven. Fucking lasers. Actually, lasers probably aren't the best method of heating something. But they are the coolest method of heating something, so... Well, actually, maybe plasma would be a more fun way to heat something. Either way, baking a cake with plasma, while awesome, I severely doubt the cake would taste very good. Probably taste like vapor. Have you tasted chocolate cake vapor? It's not very delicious. At least not when it's been preheated to 2,000 degrees Kelvin. Actually, I don't know what 2,000 degrees Kelvin is equivalent in, even in Celsius, so... I just assume that's very high, because 2,000 is a big number. Let's say 2,000 degrees Celsius, because I know that's extremely ridiculously high. But on the plus side, it would be plasmified cake. So, that would be pretty awesome. And then you could say, I've eaten plasmified cake. Except you probably couldn't say that without lying, because if you ate plasmified cake, you'd probably be dead. That's just unfortunate. Let's get these because they're really cheap now. And let's get that because it's... You know. Let's get that. Bullet speed. Why not? We're almost maxed on the thingies. Actually, at this rate, we're going to get a win rar as you before we even get to the thousand meters. Ow. You bastard. I, I hate when shit that isn't even on screen yet can shoot you. Because, like, as, when it's aimed shots, it's really bad, because... Wow. That's just going to bug me now that something can shoot me from above, like, perfectly dead-on aim. And I don't even know it's there. But it seems rare enough that, you know, I just noticed it now after, like, what, 33 minutes? Or so. So... Probably not the biggest deal. Just kind of annoying. Like, I really should get a chance to dodge something if it's going to hurt me. It's generally my opinion on just about everything. Also, I'm not really sure that shooting sound is really necessary. I kind of ignore it because it's constant and so monotonous, but... It's still there for some reason. But, I guess it makes sense for there to be a shooting sound just in physics sense, but, uh... Gameplay-wise, if you're going to be constantly firing, it's not very necessary. Also, what kind of gun is this? Looks like a rifle or a shotgun. I know it's like 8 pixels, so I'm trying to determine what kind of gun it is from 8 pixels, but it looks... It just doesn't seem like the sort of thing that would be able to shoot like this, is all I'm saying. Also, the bullets are like 8 times wider. You know, maybe like 2 to 4 times wider than the barrel. It's probably not a good... Probably not good for the gun to fire bullets several times the width of the muzzle. It's, I'm pretty sure gun safety classes will advise you against that. We're almost maxed out. Oh, and my progress rating was in progress. 
I'm not sure if that... I'm assuming that maybe changes every time, or maybe it's based on how far you've gotten. Actually, I think it's been different every time. Yeah, it's, it's probably just completely random. Oh, I was so close to getting the max, uh, what is it, resilience, I think I'm missing. Oh, and now when I get 600 gems, I'm going to want to die just so I can max that out. But I shall plot on. Ah! Also, do the, does the critical thing show a different, ow, um, a different visual effect? I would, I would think I would have noticed it by now, but... Ah! Okay, that was close. Also, I haven't dashed yet. There, I dashed. Wow, that... Wow, I never want to dash again. That's kind of annoying, actually. So yeah, not a fan of the dashiness. Not a fan of the rainbow dash. Just gotta say that. Alright. And, uh... Yeah, it's sort of like the dash in, rain in what is it, Mega Man X, except, well, I like that dash, but but it's not a double tapness, it's a different button to do that dash. And that dash is also necessary in the game. And the controls are just very different. In this, I would just prefer simple fluid motion, simple fluid controls, and the dash just sort of interrupts both of those. Whoa, Nelly. I'm not even that high up. Okay, so the getting up to 1,000 meters is going to be kind of a pain. Space. Hooray, win where me. So yeah, all we need to do is climb to the last 100 meters. Um, Alright, let's try one more time. Kind of don't want to, but... Ah, see that shit again. I hate you. One more time, and then maybe I'll play it again and just record me playing and not saying anything and just show you, like, the 100, the 1,000 meters run or something, I don't know. Just getting kind of bored of it, a little. It's mostly good at getting rid of monotonous stuff, but 1,000 meters is a lot, and the first, like, 500 meters go really slowly. I pretty much run out of things to say, so that's also not a good sign, at least for a Let's Play. I suppose most people playing won't be talking to themselves. But some might. Schizophrenics might. Schizophrenics play games, too. You know, you don't want them to get run out, to run out of things to say to themselves. So then they might murder someone or something, I don't know. Actually, they really probably wouldn't, you know. Not all schizophrenics murder people. Unless they're in a movie. Then they're they're gonna murder people. That's it's the only reason they're there in a movie. But psychological disorders in movies and popular fiction aren't, you know, quite equivalent to reality. Ah, ah. All right, five hundred meters. In your fa. In your face. The ones on the walls and stuff are so much more awkward to shoot than the slimes for some reason. I just noticed the slimes have eyes. That makes ah, sense. Ah, no! So much damage and I only have... Alright, 300 meters to go. That's not... That's not that bad. I can do this. Ah! Double jump right, bitch! Does my character even have a name? Ah! No! There'll be more, no more shooting of me. Also, I can dash in midair. That kind of disorients me. I wish I hadn't bought the dash upgrade. No, I regret everything. I regret everything I've ever done. Oh. I was so close. The exit is a lie. Your face is a lie. 